Hey, what's up? This is Jesse and the Toy Boys, and you're watching Front Row Live Entertainment. Hey guys, Rob here with Front Row Live, hanging out backstage at Jingle Ball 2011 with Jesse. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Doing great. I saw your performance earlier. Really good job. Thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. A lot of energy. Lots of energy. <laughs> this year, I noticed you, you've, you've had a pretty good tour uh, yeah. that you were a part of. Yes, it's been an incredible year from start to finish. Um, I got off tour this summer with Britney Spears and Nicki Minaj on the Femme Fatale tour. And then uh, I was part of the Identity Festival. It was the first ever electronic music traveling festival with uh, Cascade and Steve Aoki and stuff nice. like that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And now here, Kiss Village, Jingle Ball. So it's a great way to end 2011. It's definitely been a busy year. Busy year, busy, amazing, best year ever. So tell us a little bit about about you know your music um, and how did you come up with with having the mannequins? Well, um, they're toy boys. They're not mannequins. Right. But um, I grew up playing in punk rock bands, okay. and um, every band I started ended up breaking up just because I write all of my music, and so sometimes we'd fight. So one day, it's tough. <laughs> one day I decided to start a band with toy boys because they're just perfection they are plastic and fantastic they don't talk back and uh, <laughs> easy to get along with <laughs> and uh, you told me earlier that these are they're brand new these are brand new toy boys from Toyland yes they just arrived today was their first show with me because let me explain uh, the toy boys are an ever rotating collection of perfection at my okay. disposal so you know different toy boys come from Toyland and go <laughs> and these are two of the newest toy boys this is number 44 and this is number 28. And how did they do tonight for you? They were fabulous. <laughs> uh, you, you recently worked with uh, the brothers, Good Charlotte. Yeah. Uh, could you let us know a little bit about that? Oh, you're super up on your game. I'm, Look at I'm working on it. Um, yes, Benji and Joel uh, and I have known each other for a few years now. And um, they're putting out a really cool mixtape um, called House Music. Mm -hmm. And while I was on tour, they sent me this track that they had made that they've been playing out when they were DJing. And um, it didn't have any melody or lyrics over it yet. Okay. And they just sent it to me and they were like, hey, you know, check this out. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, this track is amazing. I have to write to this. I have to sing on this. So in a hotel room, found a microphone, you know, made my tour manager record my vocals <laughs> and wrote a song called Dope Sick Shorty. Um, we're probably going to shoot a video to it. So everybody out there, keep your eyes peeled for that. Have and you actually yeah. worked with them yet? Yeah, or we've worked together. Yep. Uh, no, no, no. Well, that was separate. And then when I came back to L.A., we kind of like polished it up. But um, and we're going to work on more stuff. So how is it working with them? I know you're a fan of them. I'm a super fan. Well, good Charlotte. When I was like. I don't know, a little kid. I was obsessed with Good Charlotte. I loved Good Charlotte. I loved Blink-182. I had all their patches on my backpack. <laughs> so I had their posters on my wall. So it was cool to to go full circle and, and get to work with them. Same thing with Britney. I had my Britney posters on my wall and I had a Britney Spears Barbie doll. And so when I got asked this year to open up for her, that was the same kind of thing where it was just like, you know, my life just feels like yeah. a dream. Now, how was it going on stage? Well, it was amazing. You know, she's um, she's incredible. She's got such an amazing energy about her as a performer. Um, same thing with Nicki Minaj. You know, it was really awesome to be one of the femme fatales. I think it was the best tour of the summer. So it's something that I'll never forget. Definitely. What else do you have planned out for the remainder of the year? Well, I'm just trying to finish this album that everybody wants. <laughs> so I'm in the studio. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, but I'm working really hard on... Um, finishing you know writing all the tracks mm -hmm. and hope to have a full album out next year and uh, how different will it be from your EP um, it's sonically similar in the sense that it's electronic pop music but um, a little bit more guitars are being introduced it's it's a little bit darker feeling um, you know it's called this is how rumors start and thematically it kind of takes you through highs and lows you know all about love, war, sex, betrayal, fun, juicy stories. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. We look forward to seeing you more often. Um, you want to drop your links? 
Yes, what's up, everybody? Thanks for checking us out. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, it's at Jesse Toy Boys, J E S S I E T O Y B O Y S. Hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Jesse and the Toy Boys. And if you can't remember that, go to our website, Jesse and the Toy Boys.com. Links to everything. Perfect. Thanks for hanging out with us. Be sure to check them out. Subscribe to Front Row Live, and we'll see you guys again soon.